Again, hold, oh, wait, let me let me sell the stick out. Short stick mode is not going to quite cut this. All right. So we started off another day. We're eating again because eating is important. We need your nutrition. Well, every uh, every Pokemon journey begins and ends with eating. Very important to. Keep your carbohydrates up because uh, we walk a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> we're not on the bus. We're on foot. Or uh, I know a lot of people play this game via driving quite a lot. And well, you know that's one way to do it. Never been as big of a fan. I know personally I walked exclusively up until level 30. It gives you a much better, much different perception of the game, in fact. But yeah, we had two monstrous omelets here. We're at, we're at Bob Evans. And we're going to continue this saga of Never Shiny today. Something going okay? Yeah. Check for you. With any, with any luck. Look okay? Oh, today. yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. Um, I can't wait to get it. Yeah, fair enough. This year, start, yeah. All right, so I just started recording. It doesn't really matter when we start, because I can just crop, edit, and whatever. Good. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, we're at Goodale. We're farming the Never Shiny slash Magikarp. Um, what are we talking about today, P? What are we doing? Uh. So today's mostly just a farming day, right? I mean, we're out here trying to spin that uh, one out of 4,000 or whatever odds on being shiny. And uh, I mean, my my first carp I actually got was shiny, but we don't want to talk about that. I might get beat up, but it is freaking gorgeous out here today. This is uh, probably one of the better parks in Columbus to farm, I think. And I started, we started the video off here because I wanted to showcase the pond. The pond is actually kind of just a little bit gross right now, but... If you're here, make sure to say hi to El Guapo, the turtle. We might have named one of the turtles. It's probably multiple turtles, but... They all go by Guapo. Yeah, they, as far as we're concerned, it's the same one, and he's magical. He grants wishes on occasion. We're still waiting on the... Uh, shiny carp wish. Maybe at 11-11 we'll get our shiny carp. <laughs> so there are tons of Pokemon hunters out here today. Like literal tons of them. That guy right there, playing Pokemon. These Running into trees, definitely playing Pokemon. <laughs> oh, we've all been there. Now, those people over there, probably not playing Pokemon. And these people on the benches, again, Probably not playing Pokemon, but that's okay, because they're lost. <laughs> so, we're going to head through the main drag of the park, because uh, we farm using the nearby feature. We just click on that a ton and pray for little orange floppy fishes. No, yellow floppy fishes. Uh, well, they're orange on the nearby. The 
There's some steady gym action going on. It was red. I came and helped somebody with a raid, and now they're all yellow. What raid was it? Raikou. Oh. Yeah, I, I, got, I got like a handful of Thundercats, and ever since they changed the loot, the way the loot system works in raids, I haven't been as dedicated about dumping my money into raid passes. The freebies? Yeah, sure, but uh, paying a dollar a pop, not so much. So to touch a little bit on probabilities, the odds of finding a shiny, right about there, up there with finding a perfect. So the odds of finding a, per a good shiny, <laughs> well... Not, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Uh, I, if I you find one, play the lottery that day immediately. Are you sh shouldn't they not play the lottery because they've already burned all their good luck for like the rest no. of their lives? No. It extends to a otherworldly adventure. Huh. So the day I met you. Yeah. <laughs> you should have told me. To play the lottery? Mm-hmm. Then we wouldn't then we could pay someone to do our show. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be nearly as fun. True. Okay. So here we have some more more hunters over here. Huh? Since this park is Magikarp, everybody's been out here since it's been beautiful. And it's one of the best parks in Columbus, actually, to farm. It's the Pokestop density is pretty good. And when the stop density is good, that means you can actually use the nearby feature to hunt things. Isn't that glorious? But we, uh, most of the time we've been here, it's been lured up. Um, the lures aren't as productive to farming the, the carps. They, they kind of help. They, they don't. They, they don't help. They clutter up the nearby tracker too. <laughs> so, uh, what can you do? We're gonna attempt to not chop people off the sidewalk with the selfie stick. Yeah. So if the camera starts if I start waving wi wildly, excuse us for a moment. I just like put it forward a bit for a second while we're doing that. Oh, The common woe of the Go Plus. It disconnecting and being a huge pain on the butt. Oh, I didn't even That's hear that. It. No! Okay. Just to get the shining. Uh, working on it. I'm already here, guys. I'm already here. It says there's a carp right here, but I just see a shiny. Trying to be some shiny on shiny action, to be honest. Just to quickly pan around real quick and show the glory that is this park. Now Columbus does have a lot of gorgeous parks, don't get me wrong. But a lot of them gorgeous and content for Pokemon hunting? Not so much. Never shiny guys. Never the shiny. It's okay, I love them anyway. Yeah, that's about seven candy. More than likely seven candy, because it's not going to be good. Either. No, I'm going to dumpster him. Mm -hmm. Send him straight to Professor Willow. I almost said O. <laughs> that, that should be. Off to the next carp? You got to direct the carpage, because... Carpage. Um, all right. Corner carpage. I feel like when you get your carp, it should be named Carpidium. Seize the day. Oh my. He's just hitting them high notes in the park today, guys. Is that the Porta John? No. <laughs> no. No screaming potty. That's uh, that, that, that guy needs to calm down. <laughs> no, they're having a party. Oh, oh I lied. It was the other way. I mean, it could still be on the border. I'm terrible with directions. Okay. It's that way. Oh. So we're turning around and going back now. Not much parking at Goodale today, being that there's a party going on and the pogo players. But feel free to park at a meter if you have change. make 
ugly faces in between walking times. Try and find something to fill the dead space. Yeah. With. Just make the make funny faces. Or pick our nose. Oh jeez. Like this is this is why we don't have that. <laughs> I don't want to watch her pick her nose the whole time. Oh no, I don't want to. Oh, it could still be shiny. You never know. No. Yeah. Okay. But our Lord Wooper is here. We sing praise to Lord Wooper for he has uh, he has governed most of our path this far. So, we well, we're shocking. <laughs> I am an electric panda. Not really. Electric panda? Yes. That could be a Pokemon. Could be. It definitely seems up that alley. I still feel like we should go to Walmart and buy the big panda head. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would be difficult to hunt Pokemon in. Eh? It is. It was really hard to even pull my camera up. So I can't imagine trying to, like, navigate. Well, when I was, uh, I mean, every time I've been out with fursuiters, they, I, I've been, I played their Pokemon for them, because there is no way you can play Pokemon with fursuiters. Well, trying to see where you're going. Well, they were ponies, so they had hooves. No. Uh, yeah, the hooves and throwing the Pokeballs, not so much. They tried. It was hilarious. But not so much. Never okay. Well, over here whipping balls, guys. Whoa. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. Well, we might have to cut that part out. <laughs> Alright. I am pretty content on the clip one. Good one.